everyone. This is uh, September 6th, Friday. It's a beautiful day in Pelican Sound. We got a lot of things going on at the golf club. I want to showcase what's going on. You can see that they've continued with the pavers in front of the clubhouse. We started grading of the landscape to get it all ready. Uh, right now it's all prepped for dirt and then now we're going to start with the irrigation and then we'll follow it up with landscaping. So it's really coming along and I'll showcase some of the things that are going on inside. We're in the lobby. You can see they're starting to work on some of the trim work above and it's starting to look really great. If you look, uh, they're also having the beams put in as well and uh, it's really coming along. We're located in the men's restroom. You can see that some of the uh, Granite work has been installed. This is called uh, Cambria Botanica. So it's in the men's and ladies restroom. So I'll showcase the other restroom now. We're located in the ladies restroom. You can see that the uh, granite work has been uh, installed over here as well. And you can see the vast space of the ladies restroom. And it spans over here. Obviously we'll have uh, vanities as well, but it spans all the way over here as well. Located in the pro shop, you can see behind us the pro shop desk is in the process of being installed. You have the cavern tree as well, starting to look really, really, really nice. And then we also have uh, the slat wall coming in very soon. And then the merchandise pieces will be coming in uh, very shortly. And they'll start on the floating ceilings very soon. We're located in the pavilion kitchen. You can see some of the kitchen uh, pieces are coming in. They're putting in the grid as well and should be done very shortly. You can see some of the uh, dish areas being installed. And if we walk onto the hotline here, you can see that they're continuing to install equipment. We have uh, the four burner stove, the grill, and the fryer. And uh, some of the other pieces are coming in shortly, but it's starting to look like a kitchen. We're located in the main kitchen, you can see some of the kitchen equipment is being installed. Uh, some of the electrical is uh, still continuing and above us the uh, grid is being installed as well. So really uh, a lot of things are getting accomplished in the main kitchen and in the pavilion kitchen. So within the next three to four days, most of all the equipment will be installed. So it's on to the next. We're located in the vista room. You can see that they started to install some of the tile that goes around the perimeter. We do have carpets on either side and the dance floor will have all tile. So they're going to do the perimeter so they can start putting in the baseboards. Uh, above us, some of the ceiling detail is being in installed. You can see that it's, uh, it's really looking really nice and you can see that they've done all the casings on the side here and they'll start doing some of the crown molding very shortly. And here's just a sneak peek of uh, one of the chandelier pieces that will be above us. If you, I'll show you exactly where it's going to be located. So there are uh, two larger ones right, uh, if you look, uh, right here in the center here. So there'll be one on this side and one on the other side. And there will be smaller boxed in on either side. So here's a little sneak peek. You'll see it installed on the next video. We're located on the back side of the clubhouse. You can see uh, August panned over on some of the pavers. They've continued uh, on the intersection we have here all the way to the section that we have where Lakes 9 meets up. Uh, they've paved all this area. It really looks great. Uh, they'll add the soldier course on the ends um, and then also pack in with the concrete. But it's really looking great. We also have the additional parking that will be on either side. So there'll be a parking on this side and then continued parking over there. So ample parking for the clubhouse and we should, should be able to open up this very shortly, but it's really looking great. Right behind us, the gentlemen are taking off the form boards where we poured footers for our Tucci umbrellas. We have a total of 10 cantilever umbrellas that will be located on the second tier of the pavilion space here. So it's really looking great here. Just to give you some perspective of the space, you can see the pavilion is over here. You'll have pavers on that second tier wrapped around to where you see the steps over there. And then we'll have another section of pavers where the uh, other set of steps are wrapped around to the pro shop space. So the pavers kind of go out to about right here and all the way up. So they're gonna start grading this uh, starting on Monday and get this all uh, prepped for landscape and pavers and then they'll also start on the roundabout space over here as well. So we'll get the uh, bollard lights uh, all set up for, the, for this area here and the pavers. We'll also have 13 Tucci umbrellas that will be over here with the seating area. So it's going to be really, really nice. 
located just outside the pro shop. This is where the exterior restrooms are located. I want to take you inside to showcase some of the other finishes. You can see some of the granite that's been installed. And the other vanity as well. Located just outside the uh, back of the clubhouse. I wanted to feature the bollard lights that are going to be installed very shortly. They're running the conduit as we speak. Uh, these are about 30 of them throughout the exterior portion of the clubhouse, and they're really going to have a nice ambiance throughout the clubhouse. So if you're dining here at nighttime, uh, you're going to have a nice illumination uh, if you're parking on the back side of the clubhouse. We also have some in the front as well. So it's really, really looking great. Uh, we're pouring the steps behind us leading up to the clubhouse so you have a ramp on one side steps on the other and uh, if you can pan over to the uh, west side of the parking lot you can see that we have paved the entire parking lot the only thing left that we have to do is stripe the parking lot we're going to wait a couple weeks to do that so it can cure a little bit so we, the uh, paint can really stick on there um, and then we'll do the east side of the parking lot within the next two weeks